Good morning and welcome to another video and we are back in the UK, back in the motherland. Had a great time in Curacao, then we came back, went to Birmingham with Jim Shark, now we are back home and today we're going to be consuming a large amount of calories. So in case you're unaware, I mean if you're not aware, I don't know how you're not aware because look at my boot mate, I'm injured, ruptured my Achilles. Uh, I'm approaching the six week post-surgery mark which means rehab is about to ramp up and therefore I want to ramp up the calories. I want to just consume a disgusting amount of calories, just channel them all straight to the tendon and hopefully exercise the healing process. So today I'm going to be eating what I want to eat, right, but for every item I choose I'm going to be seeking out the highest calorie variant of that food. So it's going to be messy. I would imagine it's going to be probably quite, I don't know, intense. Mara, are you ready for this? We've just dropped, why have you dropped wet cashew on my leg? Why is that on my leg? Do you want it? Mm. Mara, you're an absolute monster. Yeah. Okay, he's getting tired. He's going to go to bed. We need to go and get some breakfast stuff. Let's get the day started. If you are excited, drop it a like. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe. Subscribe. Let's begin. Sainsbury's, I'm gonna get some breakfast. Breakfast, to be honest, I frequently don't eat breakfast. When I do, I'm very much a cereal man, so let's just find the highest calorie cereal in existence. We're gonna go per 100 grams. 386 calories, that's pretty good. That's number one so far. I've tried these, they're trash. 380, no. This will be interesting, right? This is a, this is a kid's cereal. 364, still pretty high. But more importantly though, Blueberry, apple, and beetroot. Who's putting beetroot in a cereal? What absolute creep has done that? Oh, Pop tarts. It's not a cereal, is it? it doesn't count. It is a cereal. It's not a cereal. It's, Pop -tarts. A cereal. it's not a cereal. <laughs> it's a cereal. It's not a cereal. Oh. Right. Per 100 grams, 433 cows. I'm sure we have a winner. I'm sure nothing can beat that, surely. That's very high. Are you serious? How many? 455 per 100 grams. Crave. That's annoying because I wanted, to, I wanted to try that. Okay, that's number one. The other Crave any higher? No, slightly lower. What about the weird Sainsbury's version of it? More. No, it's less. If that was more, I wouldn't say it was because I'm not eating that. They're going to be high, aren't they? That's basically just cake. Where the criteria for cereal, yeah, that I mean that is just cake in a bowl, isn't it, realistically? 445, crave still more than that. As if. Milk chocolate crave, 455 calories per 100 grams. That is outrageous. Okay, milk. You can't have cereal without milk unless you're a weird person, so. Does that, <laughs> does that count as milk? It's milk, innit? It's chocolate milk, but it's still milk. How many calories? Per 100 mil, oh, 74 calories. That's dead. It's like water. I'm not getting that. I'm sure there's that milk. There's a crazy like northern milk that's like gold milk or something. It's very, it's just a bottle of fat. But right, let's just start with the OG, just whole milk. 65. Okay. So that chocolate milk was more current. Gentle goat's milk is why is it gentle goat's milk? What does that mean? That sounds a bit pervy now, 61, I'm sure. Well like nut milk. Dairy free. Not nut milk, that sounds bad. Dairy free milk. 169, 67, 75, chocolate milk is still number one. I'm sure, do you know what I mean? I'm sure there's like a, it's called like gold top or something and it's really high in calories. Oh, here we go, right there. Okay. Graham's smooth gold, I'm sure this is high. Okay, 81, it's still, it's more, 81 calories per 100 mil. Gold smooth with cream mixed through. Don't know how I feel about that. But that is currently enough, I mean, I don't think we're going to beat that, to be honest. If I was to drink that whole bottle, that's 810 calories. That is quite a lot to be fair. I think we have a winner. Can you not feel like it? Okay, not allowed. Yeah. You know, it's just me in a secret corner and no one else is in it. I'd rather you did okay, it. Right. Thank you. Okay, no worries. Ruin the whole video yeah. now. <laughs> <laughs> Video's <laughs> ruined. <laughs> Welcome to my video. Welcome. Why are you so welcome? I just welcome you. You can't welcome me. I'm already in it. So look at this. In fact, do you want to down some of this quickly? No, I don't. Why? It's not actually that. Well, I thought it would be worse than... Why is that this common? I thought it would be worse than it is. But it says like... In, what does it say? Something about cream. With cream mixed through. No, it's not... Okay, it's, it's not as high as I thought it would be. Is it not? No, I'm just going to drink some. What are you doing? Are you going to make that into a protein? It's not that bad. It's a bit... It's more creamy than I'd like, but that isn't that much more than just whole milk, to be honest. 
<laughs> what are you doing? You've just broken my shaker, mate. Okay, uh, so we're gonna have we're gonna have cereal, we're gonna have milk, because it just goes without saying. Stop throwing stuff. And we're gonna have a protein shake. Don't throw I said <laughs> but I said, you're in charge of the protein shake. We've got the highest calorie cereal, the highest calorie milk, and now we need the highest calorie protein shake. But by the way, I'm having, this is my dedication, right? I'm having to take informed sports supplements now because of the drugs testing, obviously very minimal chance, but if there was somehow a trace of something sketchy in a supplement, then I failed drug test, which would be far from ideal. But you're and no one would being, believe me. You're being really paranoid, aren't you? It's still not worth the risk. Is it worth the risk, Joel? No. Not worth the risk. <laughs> Okay, here we have it. Like, the cereal's been left way too long, it's now very soggy. But this is gonna be a disgusting number of calories. What should have been a bowl of cereal and a protein shake has got out of hand. So, we had 250 grams of Crave, 250 mils of that milk, which gives us a grand total of... A bowl of cereal comes in at 1,530 calories. Also, probably needs more milk, to be honest. That's, the Crave is absolutely, they're like sponges, they've absorbed that. This... <laughs> This protein shake has got ice cream, peanut butter, that ridiculous fat milk, two scoops of protein, banana, in the girls? Yeah. I think that's it. Yeah. So that, <laughs> we've already done the calculations. This is just under 950 calories in this shake, which means, what did I just say this cereal was? 1,500. So that gives us just under two and a half thousand calories for this breakfast. So that's like a daily recommended amount, yeah? Yeah, yeah, I'm literally in the average person. Well, this is more than said, more calories than says we're consuming a day in this little compact thing. If you were bulking, this would be absolutely ideal, to be honest. But if you were really aggressively bulking, actually. <laughs> it's all right, it's a bit like disappointing. I was hoping for more, to be honest. Well, it's a bit soggy as well. Yeah, I think the problem is I've left it for too long. It's all right, it's not bad. For that number of calories, I want more. Do you know what I mean? I want it to literally be the best thing ever because that's just yeah, a waste of calories. Okay. Right, that's it's not bad, but just drink some of that. Oh my god. No, I'm not having all that dairy. That's literally the word. Joel, try some of this. <laughs> that's literally the world's thickest thing, mate. Ow, that's literally like a solid. <laughs> That's like a solid. It's like gloop. Yeah, it is, yeah. It's like, you know when you're at school and you use that PVA glue? That's literally, if I couldn't taste, I'd think that was PVA glue. That's the kind of consistency we're working with it. What's the plan, huh? Um, train. <laughs> Eat that and then a massive session. I've got to go and train, so absolutely ideal. I'm going to have to give it some time because I'm going to be gagging and throwing up all over the place, so. You've got all this crave in your cheeks while you're trying to do that. Okay, finish this, and I'll see you at the gym. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ay, coming, in. coming in, yeah. Flex, I just wanna win. Yeah, LA BB, who we running with? Yeah, two, two, three, three, I'm on ten again. Yeah, state your name. Big Ben dope on flame. I just switched the lanes. Damn, he did it again. I just flipped the pain. Stripping and dipping in base, slab on everything. Swimming, you sinking away, cause I got big racks coming, I put my low racks on it. I ain't skip past losses, I had to get back off it. See the fit Session is done. It was a good one, it was a weird one. Very rarely train biceps and triceps together, but I did it today because basically the week's been a bit of a mess, so I have to kind of fill in gaps. Um, that was actually one of, we've got a whole bunch of new workouts we're currently testing before adding them to the Morsia app. That was one of them. On the topic of workouts, we've just added a new update, probably our biggest, in fact, definitely our biggest update ever. So whereas previously the app was all kind of plan-based, i.e. you get a meal plan, you get a training plan, you stick to it, we've now added a whole section, a whole tab, just full of hundreds of workouts. So you can go through and pick a specific workout like arms or back or chest or full body, whatever you want to do, and do that singular workout separate from your plan. So that's sick. On a side note, I would still always recommend following a plan. Like if you are in the gym, you're not following a plan, chances are you're wasting a lot of your time, right? So top link in the description, go and give the app a go. You can try it for seven days completely free. Literally nothing to use, greatest fitness app on the planet. Love to see you there. Anyway, who cares? We're done. Let's go and get some extremely high calorie lunch. I just wanna win.
LA BB who we running with. Yeah. Two, two, three, three. I'm on 10, 10, 10. Hello, how can I help? Yeah, okay, so I am after the highest calorie items. Okay, let's do, can I do a bacon cheeseburger, please? Of course you can. So I'll make it bigger for you. I'll do an extra patty. Can you actually? Yeah. Done. Done. Yeah. Great work. 1500 calories in the last ride. There you go. Any toppings for yourself in your burger? Let's just go catch up. I want, I want to enjoy it, you know? Of course you can. This is an absolutely outrageous acquisition. So, bacon cheeseburger, but that absolute hero put another patty in. So that burger is now 1500 calories. Let me get it out. That's Joel's weird little sausage. Why have you got that? <laughs> Who does that? Who buys a sausage? Hot dog from Five Guys. That's like going to Pizza Hut and getting a salad. So that is a 1,500 calorie burger. We've got triple patties in there, ketchup, cheese. I'm actually very hungry at this point, so that's absolutely ideal. And then there is like, just look at this bag. That is absolutely ridiculous. So that's like all of the fries in the county of Kent are in this bag right now. Feel the weight of that bag, really. Feel the weight of that bag. That's absolutely ridiculous. They are 1,500 calories as well. So burger and fries, we're over 3,000 calories here. Within reason, doesn't get any higher calories than that in five guys. Um, that would literally feel, feed like four families. On a side note, tried to get a milkshake because like, that's an easy win, right? But the milkshake machine wasn't working, so I had to sell for a Dr. Pepper, which was the highest calorie of the fizzy drinks I can get. Matt's also got five litres of ketchup and has not touched it as of yet. <laughs> Look how big that is. That is a five guys ketchup hack. You pull the thing open, you can get like three or four times the volume of ketchup. When I put it in my pocket, bring it home, re-bottle it, set it on eBay. Y'all guess the protein content of this burger. Three, two, one, go. 36. Terrible yeah. guess, terrible guess. 67 grams of protein. One burger, 67 grams of protein. How much well, fat? your dream. How much fat? Doesn't matter, you guys know that. <laughs> okay, that's the burger done. Yeah. That was 1500 calories, which is like, some people eat that in a day, and that took me about two minutes to be fairly easy, which is like, very concerning that that's even an option you can buy that. I feel like it's like, a bit risky, you know? Joel is a weirdo, and he's very keen for me to see how many fries I can get in my mouth in one go. 35. That's ridiculous. Nah, no, they'll squish. 35. They'll squish. I reckon you'll get I'm more. I'm not a pelican, mate. That's, that's unrealistic. No, I'm saying like 15. 35. 35. If I get more than 20, you have to go on the top link in the description and try the Mortuary app free trial. That's the deal. The rules on size, though, like, is that, I mean, that's a, that's a chip. Uh, that is a chip. Okay, you ready? That's Am great. I allowed to chew them? Because I look like. No. Well, how? I can't just not. Ah, uh, 10. Good and good. He's just picking all the small ones. I'll make the rules, mate. Chip to chip. How many, How many so? I think it's fun, mate. I think. What do you want? Pop it in the first thing. 30? That's 30, I think. <laughs> Five more. I'm quite in here with the bag right now. That's 35. Oh, shit. <laughs> Lunch is done. I feel sick. I'm never eating fries for the rest of my life. But it would be rude not to get dessert. There's a Krispy Kreme wagon? No, what are they even called? Trailer? It's Krispy Kreme's here basically. Never in my life have I gone to a place that has Krispy Kreme's and not brought Krispy Kreme's. Hello! Absolute fan club in there. <laughs> Giving it the big one, and when the camera goes on, they all bottle it. Anyway, let's go and get some donuts. Okay, I am seeking the highest calorie Krispy Kreme. I see here, I mean, the calories are literally written on the things, right? However, some of these, I looked, I Googled it, right? Some of these numbers are lower. So on Google, it says that that one there, the Choco Popcorn one, is the high. That says it's like 460. It's telling me 360 here. Who, who's lying? Is it Google or is it these numbers? Uh, I think it's Google. He's back in these numbers, yeah. And that makes the Lotus Biscoff one the best one. Yes. Damn, like, I'm not a big fan of that. This is the kind of guy I am, yeah. I'm willing to put it on the line and eat that, even though I don't want to eat it. It's for the name of the video. Come on. 
Can I just please get one of those low toss biscuit ones, please? Well, let's call it low toss, low toss biscuit. Anything else for you today? Nah, just, I'm just eating about 15,000 calories of five, guys, so I'm packing out there. Really. I know it's controversial, but I'm just not a fan of these. Like, it's not terrible, but I just, I don't know. Something about the taste is just not for me. I'd much rather have like a strawberry slash glaze type one, but it's the highest calorie option, so I had no choice, right? Now, uh, I figured I haven't had enough calories in the last hour, so why not get the highest calorie drink or coffee we can find in Starbucks for the drive home? I am asking the highest calorie coffee that is in existence. What about hot, can you do a hot chocolate? Yeah. Oh, okay, that's a game changer. That's 406. Let's do that. Yeah. Let's do a hot chocolate with whipped cream, yeah. yeah. Uh, the biggest venti, yeah. Can you put, is it possible to put like a shot of coffee in it to make it, do you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So I'm essentially make, yeah, yeah that would be yeah. sick, let's do that. Yeah. Is it your name? Yes, uh, Gary. Uh, getting into my car is so hard. I'm literally buzzing to get this boot off. Ga Who spells Gary with a double R? Is that a thing? Um, I've got a, what even was it? A hot chocolate with a shot of in it, uh, a shot of coffee, an alcohol, and whipped cream. This is 510 calories, mate. That's the most calorific. It didn't have the machine, wasn't working to make the frappuccino, so this is the best that we can get. The 500 calories for coffee is pretty solid. I'm gonna put it out there, it's gonna be creamy and disgusting. Mm, it's not that bad, actually. Yeah, it's not like the, the coffee like brings it down and makes it less creamy, do you know what I mean? It takes the edge off it. Still not my drink of choice. Okay, rather than sitting here watching me drink Gary's coffee really slowly, we're gonna go home now. Luca should be back from school, I believe. So let's go and see what the crack is. Okay, we're back, uh, rehab is upon us. So I'm doing like, I saw the physio yesterday, uh, cause like I said, we're five weeks post-surgery now. He was, gay, he was really happy with it. Uh, he said the tendon thickness was like 11 mil, which is like better than it needs to be. So that bodes really well. So he's given me some kind of like slightly hot, more intense exercise. So like you saw me doing the calf raise thingy with a bit of resistance, that felt nice. Like to actually experience some fatigue in my calf is like the best feeling ever doing some heavier banded stuff, using the occlusions, the blood flow restriction, that helps as well. Luca, any more thoughts? Explain what's going on now, mate, what are we doing? Training daddy's leg. Essentially, yeah, that is what you're doing, yeah. Do you know if you let go of that band, you'd like, my entire leg would explode, basically. So I let go Don't, do not let go of it. Okay, rehab is finished. Happy with that session? Did we achieve the outcomes that we set out to achieve? Oh, yeah. Luca's gonna go swimming. Then the stairs are taking, I think Mara will be awake, so I was taking stairs and Mara to their mates to have some food. Me and Joel are gonna hang here in the house like absolute losers. We're gonna make a high calorie meal. Uh, Joel, what is the high calorie meal gonna consist of? Salmon, avocado, sweet potato fries, drizzled Good in knowledge. loads of oil. Basically, I figured like we would, we've had a lot of eating out, right? So we're gonna have some like whole foods. So like, you know, fish, carbs, vegetables, but we're gonna get the highest calorie variants of those items. We're gonna put them together and make an amazing eclectic mix. I'm gonna squish Luca's head until it explodes and then I'll see you at dinner time. <laughs> All right, dinner is served. I mean, I'm not hungry. <laughs> not really interested in eating right now, but I'm a great guy, so I'm gonna do it anyway. So we have salmon, AKA the most calorie dense fish on the planet. Avocado, which is technically a fruit, but if you call avocado a fruit, you're an idiot. It's, let's just call it a vegetable, right? For the purpose of this, we have avocado and edamame beans, which are the two most calorie dense vegetables, according to the Google search says did a couple of hours ago, and then we have sweet potato fries covered in an absolute abundance of oil. So as a whole, oh, what are we saying calorie-wise? 330 calories. So 330 cows just in the avocado, edamame beans, that little salad. It's not idea. That little salad there is 530 calories. This salmon here, what did I say for the salmon? 350, 450, is that what I just said? 530. Is that what I just said again? I'm losing it. It's basically that, just that and that, salmon and that salad, 
Oh, so it's oil as well. It's probably more with the oil, but let's just play it conservative. That's a thousand calories. Sweet potato fries, let's have a look. 450, maybe 500. So this entire meal, we're looking at about 1500 calories, which this is a good indicator of because that's pretty calorie dense, but still all of that food, which is ridiculously voluminous, is the same number of calories as that one burger I had in Five Guys earlier, which is like quite insightful. So if you were dieting, you wouldn't eat either of those items, but as a comparison, if you, you could get away with this much volume of food versus that one burger for the same number of calories, so it shows you how important your food choices are when it comes to trying to be in a calorie deficit. Anyway, let's try the most calorie dense fish on the planet. I can't really enjoy food right now because I'm still quite full. Adding lemon or lime or any fruit in fact to a savoury meal in my opinion is a crime punishable by death. I think it ruins it. On a side note, Joel where is the salmon from? Muscle food. That is correct Joel, it's from muscle food. There's a link to muscle food in the description. We get and we have for the last, I don't know, three, four years got all of our meat from muscle food. It's sick, it's very convenient, you just buy like a, you know, two, three, four, five kilograms of chicken separate it all out, freeze it up, and then when you want it, you take it out and you use it, and it's very, very handy. It works out cheaper as going to, going to buy it from like Sainsbury's or whatever. They also have sick stuff, like they have these little meal pots that I have all the time. You get a prep meal pot, like a satay chicken one, for example, that's like 350 calories, and it will have like 40, 45 grams of protein. So the macros are unbelievable in those. Again, if you're dieting, then absolutely ideal. For now, um, I'm gonna eat this stuff, and then probably throw up, lie around, cry for a bit, and then I'll catch you later. Yeah. Just making barely making it. No, it's gonna I, snap. No, I figured like it was gonna be. You need like a drill. There you go. No problem. Is that a different hole? <laughs> okay. <laughs> if you're wondering below what's going on, so uh, dessert to top the day off. The highest calorie fruits yeah, in existence: coconut and my dual dates or just dates generally. So these, this is 200 grams, 430 calories. Dried fruit, obviously, all the cows are just compressed. There's no liquid in there. And then that, <laughs> and then that is a coconut. A medium coconut, right, is 1400 calories. Now that's probably a small one. We picked this up from Sainsbury's earlier on, by the way. Um, yeah, that's extremely calorie dense, what are you saying? Not good. Yeah, good. 20 minutes of coconut <laughs> liquid coconut. That'll do you, won't it? Yeah, Joel, can you drink that, please, quickly? <laughs> Ooh. That is not going to break. Yes, oh, no, 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 close the door, close the door. Oh. Is that, what's the plan? It's not breaking though. Yeah, it will, it will. Oh, the other side, surely. No. Oh. <laughs> I mean, we're all right. Okay, keep going. Rotate, rotate. Yeah, that's. It's literally like the side of a bounty rabbit. Are you going to eat that? Are you going to eat that? No, you're going to eat the actual skin and things. No, that stuff. That's the bit you eat. <laughs> that just killed your ears doing that. Yeah, yeah, Absolutely yeah. killed him. <laughs> Joel's got permanent ear damage now. <laughs> Joel was wearing headphones <laughs> on the mic the whole time. <laughs> I was hammering that. He literally can't hear anything we're saying now. He's got ringing in his ears it's for the next like, six months. Out. That's enough. Do you think you've evened out the calories with the amount of calories burned yeah. trying to get into it? Okay. Good, right? That's it. We're gonna sit here and slowly make our way through this coconut and the jewel dates. Do you how, want how many calories? How many said that, mate? This is 430 calories. Really? Medium coconut. This is that must be a, that's quite a small one. Maybe. No. Yeah, I think that's a small one, but the medium one's 1400 calories. Really? But I think does that include? I mean, it's a whole coconut. They can't. No one's eating that, right? So that must just be the inside stuff. That's obviously very high in fat in it. It's like pretty dense. Luca, any closing thoughts for the day? Mm-mm. Cool, Joel? Mm-mm. Worst, worst <laughs> crew ever. Um, it's been uncomfortable, it got progressively worse. I know, in fact, it was bad right at the start, breakfast was, but the whole day has been... The Five Guys burger was great, that was the highlight. Aside from that, everything has been quite bad and intense. I had to have a Lotus Biscoff donut, like the worst donut. Really? Because it's the highest calorie one. Oh. That's it. We're done, video is over. If you enjoyed it, Give it a thumbs up. Any suggestions for future videos, as always, drop them in the comments if you're new to the channel. Please subscribe, and I will see you Is that tomorrow. just the whole video? <laughs> yeah, we're done, mate. <laughs> Awkward. <laughs>